to another video. <laughs> yeah, we are a bit tired and uh, some of us are sick. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, we, we've got some flow, unfortunately. Yeah. But anyway, uh, on an exciting uh, note, uh, we are in uh, Riga at the moment. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, so we just flew from Berlin uh, quite early in the morning. Um, so yeah, we are now here and we will try to go to the city center. Um, gonna maybe go to a library. Uh, we're not planning to do much today, but uh, yeah, we're gonna give you some, uh, uh, some views of the city. Yeah, so also to get some breakfast because I'm starving. Yeah, oh, obviously important thing to get breakfast. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's come with us to this mini adventure. Yeah, exactly. So uh, you are used to see us always in Berlin, but uh, uh, in recent weeks we've been a bit uh, out. Uh, so yeah, uh, by the way, it's not by accident that we are in Riga at the moment, so we are on our way to my home country to visit my family yeah. and see how are we doing. It's been a while since we've been here, um, yeah. so it's important to, to visit. Yeah. yeah, for me one year or more than one year that I, I don't come here to Lit uh, Lithuania, yep. so let's go. So uh, let's not waste more time, let's go. Guys, one thing about Riga's airport, uh, yeah, if you forgot to buy someone flowers, you can do it here in Arrivals Terminal. It's kind of cool, I've never seen this before. Uh, have you seen this uh, somewhere? No, I want this. And Vivis wants this, uh, I will think about it. to this uh, really cute cafeteria. Guess is uh, gonna ask for some food. Here is there is Kes. Um, to be honest, a little bit hungry. I also feel a little bit like uh, tired. We woke up like 4.20 in the morning to catch up our flight very early so we are here <laughs> now it is uh, 12 p.m. so it's quite late and uh, here for example in this area Baltic area is one hour more than in Germany so yeah so that's why it's 12 in Berlin uh, it's 11 uh, but yeah this is a cute cafeteria, has a lot of magazines, it's very tiny, but also very cute. There is Kes there. <laughs> cute. And there is the, the windows there. Yeah. Kes is coming. <laughs> Guys, so we just ordered uh, one lasagna, cola, and uh, for myself I ordered Americano. So uh, let's see. It looks like a very local place. Uh, yeah, and the uh, food looks quite good. Kiss is writing a postcard for sending to his dad. That is our tradition every time that we go everywhere, anywhere. Guys, so we just finished having, uh, I don't know how you call it, breakfast or lunch. Got some uh, cola, coffee yeah. and lasagna. I, how, how you call that kind of uh, brunch. Br brunch? Brunch. So it was actually brunch for us. So yeah, because uh, we didn't have a proper breakfast in the morning, 
we were kind of rushing in it to the airport and uh, yeah that's that's why we got this weird combination right now yeah. but to be honest it was very good so shout out to that cafeteria it was very nice so just is a little bit like uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to say expensive but it's yeah uh, more than you know average uh, price uh, hit in 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 Riga, you know yeah i think uh, inflation hit uh, all countries so yeah actually the prices were berlin prices so it yeah. wasn't uh, cheaper at all yeah so that's what i meant a baltic states probably no longer the case where you can uh, save it a little bit because things gotten uh, quite expensive here as well so basically we don't see much difference between uh, germany and uh, baltic countries anymore also, you, if you know places here in Riga that are good deals, have good prices, you can comment it. Yeah, let us know. Yeah, in the meantime, we are now heading to the post office to send a postcard to my dad because it became tradition whenever we go somewhere. Yeah, we send uh, postcards uh, because my dad collects uh, post stamps, so that's, that's why we're doing that. Yeah. And yeah, it became kind of tradition. Yeah, this is a post. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. Guys, and we kind of say like about Riga. Riga is the capital here of uh, Latvia. To be honest, it's a super beautiful city and also downtown is very beautiful and we have a video of Christmas here in Latvia. To be honest, it's very worth it to come here in Christmas. It's obviously super cold, but to be honest, so far Riga has the best Christmas market uh, that i ever seen in my life, to be honest, so far. Yeah, so far. Indeed, uh, check out our video from, I think it's even two years ago now, uh, time does fly actually. Mm -hmm. So ch check it in our uh, video history, or we're gonna maybe add a link there. Uh, but yeah, check it out, it's really uh, nice. Uh, as we would say, definitely one of the best uh, Christmas markets we ever seen. I hope it's uh, the same every year. So yeah, uh, if you have a chance, visit, but just prepare for the cold weather. Other than that, it was uh, amazing, really. It's, we've been to many Christmas markets uh, uh, in other European countries. Uh, and this is a, uh, this yeah. Riga has uh, one of the best ones. Definitely. Uh, my, my personal opinion. And don't <laughs> worry, we are safe. We're not going to be roll over <laughs> because yeah. it looks like the cars are going to roll over. To be honest, I'm looking in the, in the camera screen myself and I'm terrified of those cars <laughs> passing by. So if you see me making st strange expressions, that's why. <laughs> so, yeah. So now, yeah, we're gonna continue our way to the post office and send uh, the postcard. So funny thing about postcards, it kind of works randomly because one time uh, we sent a postcard from Poland to Lufania and you would think it uh, would have arrived relatively quickly because uh, Lufania and Poland shares the border, it's not that far away but it took longer for the postcard to arrive than let's say Portugal, that was crazy Now we are going to Old Town We're gonna do some exploration there and uh, also show you what we see in uh, Riga sold on. Yeah, I am. Um, I am sick. Yeah, we, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah, it, it's like uh, just before our trip, uh, we just got a flu. So, yeah, um, not not the best time to to travel, <laughs> I suppose. So sorry if you see me doing weird faces because the sun kind of hurts. My yeah. eyes, I don't know. I don't know if it's because of the flu also. So I don't know, like the sun is the light of the sun. I cannot open my SD side. <laughs> wow. So. 
Oh well, guys, so yeah. <laughs> that doesn't sound that doesn't sound good. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry, yeah, it's not contagious. I hope they have good doctors in Riga. <laughs> this it looks super different than the time we have been here in winter. So and to be honest, uh, now I can see there is a park because <laughs> when uh, we came in winter it was very very cold and there was a lot of snow and I couldn't see like uh, how to say I could see there is a bar right but now it looks like very very clear sorry there yeah. is a bar there is trees and everything but in her video uh, you could see it's only white only yeah. white everywhere so it was very cold Yeah, uh, words cannot describe enough. Uh, it's definitely underrated uh, destination for sure. Yeah. Guys, I think this is uh, like a city wall from medieval times and supposed to be some city gate. Ah, by the way, we saw something like this statue also in uh, uh, Tallinn. Yeah. yeah. So uh, this, the name of the statue is The Ghost, appropriately named. So shout out to Yeva Rubetze, I hope I'm pronouncing correctly, for this statue. I don't know what is this, but it uh, looks kind of cool. Looks like an onion, right? <laughs> looks like a garlic, no? Or garlic? If you're from Latvia, let us know what does it mean. Melnais Kiplox. <laughs> I hope I pronounced it co correctly. Guys, 
Okay, so I don't know what is this. It looks like a combination of hammocks and places to sit. Ah, yeah, it's written here. So there is a seat, a hammock, swing and place for picnic. You can see both of us here. Thanks. So guys, probably you're gonna see us visit often this place, maybe in the summer. Yeah. So quite interesting and to check how it looks the summer here. Now it's ending the summer, so yeah, it's kind of autumn already, but yeah, still warm. Yeah. We we which we have some gl some glimpses of the summer, so. Now it's very empty if you want to also visit kind of in the end yeah. of the summer. Yeah. So it's quite empty, you know, like it's very good time to visit and not being super crowd of yeah. people. So guys, this is the end of our Riga video. Hope that you like it. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. To and like and subscribe. To like and subscribe, very important. Share this video with your friends, family, and whoever wants to visit Riga or follow our life in Germany and other countries. Yeah, so add this uh Add in, in your book at least Riga because it's really, really beautiful. It never disappoint. Don't miss this region. It's definitely worth it. Yeah. So see you next time. See you next time. Bye.